Hi, and welcome to Podpad Studios, episode 13. I'm Master Maker, and this show is all about VR. So you're probably asking, what is VR or virtual reality? Well, in essence, virtual reality is alternative universes, alternative worlds. What we can do is we can put a headset on and then we can be immersed into this virtual world that a programmer creates for us. Sometimes they're fantasy worlds, sometimes they're representations of the real world. So you're probably wondering why a prop making company such as ourselves is interested in, in these sort of things, virtual reality. Well, I'm actually sat here at the moment in our Fly VR flying car. Now, this vehicle was inspired by some of the great films, Blade Runner, Star Wars, The Fifth Element, you know, where you see the kind of the flying spaceship cars in the background. And as you can see from all the switches and the buttons, it's a real tactile experience that you can have kind of pretending that you're flying this car, pressing all the buttons. The one thing this prop can't do is fly or can it what we discovered is that if you combine virtual reality and a and a physical prop that we've created the experience that you can get when you sit in this vehicle put a headset on and not just interact with this prop but you can actually fly it in vr and the experience is awesome. It's like it's like something you've never experienced before, actually. Now, we're, as we said, we're prop builders. We are not coders. Um, so we approached a company and we work with a local company to design and build VR experiences for us. They then kind of came along, took lots of photographs, mapped all the interior of the vehicle, and they've created the most awesome VR experience for us. So I'm now going to hand you over to Andre from Candy Code, who's the company that we've been working with to develop some of these VR systems. VR is a computer simulated scene where you wear a headset so you're actually immersed in that scene. So instead of looking at it on a flat screen, you're seeing it through your eyes. So as you move your head, you're getting to actually look around the environment. For me as a developer, what's really exciting is how you get completely immersed in that environment. To the point there was a time when uh, we were doing some basic modeling and testing some lighting, and I built a very crude box in 3D in the scene. And I was looking around and checking the lighting and one thing and another. And I put my controller down on this table I'd done in 3D, which didn't look like a table, it just looked like a gray box. And it was only when my controller hit the floor that I suddenly remembered that table didn't exist. So VR, or virtual reality, is a completely enclosed environment. Your eyes are completely enclosed and everything you see is simulated. It's computer generated. There is nothing real in that environment. Augmented reality is a little bit different. And this is where you typically would use something like your phone and have an app on there that would use the camera to look at the real world and it would overlay something over the top that is computer generated. Being able to see real locations that you don't get to visit in real life. So for instance, the Sistine Chapel, if you go to YouTube and look up 3D videos, you'll find um, VR videos where people have taken full 360 video shots of inside things like the Sistine Chapel and you can put a headset on and just have a look around and get the feeling and the atmosphere of actually being there or halfway up at Mount Everest or out in the Sahara or those kind of environments. Places you wouldn't ordinarily go, you can access really easily. I think VR is quite well established as a technology now. It just needs the hardware to catch up so that we can refine it, make it much higher quality, it can render a lot smoother. Um, think about computer games, what they were like 10 years ago and what the quality of those games are now. Well, VR is going to extend in the same direction so that what you see through the headset will become near photorealistic in the future. I'm probably more excited about um, XR, which is what the kids are calling it these days, is mixed reality. And that's basically where you would still have the headset or a pair of glasses, but you are seeing the real world around you and then overlaid within that is a virtual reality world. 
this is where it gets really interesting. There are certain aspects completely missing from VR, that kind of very real visceral experience that you get from everyday life. And it's not just being able to touch things. There's the auditory, the sensory, temperature, those kind of things. So when you mix a VR environment with a physical prop, it jumps to another level of experience. When we first prototyped um, VR with with yourselves in um, the spinner, I was just absolutely enthralled. Once we had the kind of uh, shot of the cockpit, put the headset on and got into the spinner, because it was a matched environment, so we had this, you know, uh, cityscape of 2048, but I was getting into a physical vehicle. I could feel the cold metal, uh, the smell of the leather seats, the feel of the leather seats on your back. Um, and just the sound, you know, that enclosed sound you get when you're inside a vehicle, it just, it made it so much more real. It's, it's very exciting. So a massive thank you there to Candy Code. Really, really looking forward to some of the partnership in the future and some of the projects that we're going to be working on. Very, very exciting times. Now, I've got a couple of different VR headsets here, actually. This is the one, the Oculus Go, that we primarily use in this in the Fly VR. We use this one because it offers three degrees of movement. Now, what that basically means technically, it means you don't have to get up and walk around. You can put the headset on, you can look around, experience the world around you and interact with that world. We also use this one here, which is called the Oculus Quest. And this offers six degrees of movement. What that means is you, you don't just look around in your world, you can completely interact with your world. You can walk through your world uh, as well as experiencing all the things within your world. Now, all this VR stuff is very, very exciting, but you're probably wondering, where is Mrs. Breaker? We've sent Mrs. Breaker on an epic adventure into VR. Now, the headset Mrs. Breaker is going to be using is the Oculus Quest, and that's because she's going to be completely be able to interact with her environment. Now, Mrs. Breaker is not a gamer. In fact, Mrs. Breaker doesn't have any experience of VR before. So, to be honest, she was the perfect test subject. So, Let's find out. Let's find out how Mrs. Breaker is getting on in VR. So cool. Look at all this stuff. Oh, I think that one. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I broke the bottle. Oh, you can't kick it, can you? Yeah, just get that out of the way. Don't kill anyone. The <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I've got a can, I've got a can of something here. What is it? Cola! Well, it's empty, I think. I've This bike is a cool thing. <gasps> you can move it. Oh. It's amazing. Oh, I've lost my candle bar. Right, wait for this. <laughs> it's a big pig. <laughs> Hold on, I need to tip it over a bit. <laughs> I'm standing in the middle of it. I'm going to pick it up and throw it. You're all right for this. <laughs> <laughs> I got mixed up in it. Oh, oh. oh, I see. My hands got caught. <laughs> I can't get off it. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Right, I'm going to try it. There you go. I'm going to go throw the bike. Ha! That doesn't go very far. Well, what can I uh, what can I say there? Um, hopefully, Mrs. Breaker will have extracted herself from the bicycle by next week. So um, that's the end of the show. Massive thank you, massive thank you to all our patrons out there. Um, we love you guys. Brilliant. Thank you for supporting us. And for those of you that would like to support us here at Podpad Studios, um, but don't necessarily want to become a patron, 
click the subscribe button. It really, really does make a difference. And we really, really would appreciate all the support you could give us. And of course, it's completely free of charge. Um, don't forget to hit the bell because if you hit the bell, you'll get all the notifications. You'll be up to date with all the regular shows that we're kind of we're, we're throwing out there. Um, so we will. Uh, I'll see you next week. Hopefully, Mrs. Breaker will be back uh, unextracted from the bike. And uh, see you next week. Bye now.